first of all, uh, we had a surprise visit here by His Excellency. Uh, definitely, it is true that he has this school at heart. He has uh, government children at heart. Uh, that's why when these philanthropists came, uh, MRC Holland Foundation, he told them categorically that I went to Kovakunda School and I want you to definitely uh, create a difference. You have been building schools, classes in some schools all over the country, but Kovakunda, I want you to see specially, and we have seen that. He has uh, the MRC Holland Foundation, which is our main sponsor, have given this school a special treatment. Um, I'm very much happy to be associated uh, with this history making. Uh, a, a school, a professional school like Kobakunda, for one of its past people to become the president of this country is a great thing. Uh, looking at uh, the background of uh, this, uh, our political history and uh, where most politicians hail from, uh, you know, our first president comes from a remote village, as well as the Second Republic. Now, the Third Republic, uh, with Adam Abaro at the helm as the president of this country, we went to this very school in 1976. Uh, in fact, we are sitting just near the classroom that he, he uh, had his classes. <laughs> The project started on the 19th of uh, February 2018. Uh, from 2018 to now, you can see uh, they have given us 54 classrooms, and there is three story buildings, and then refurbished uh, 15 other classes. So that's a great thing with a fence, a perimeter fence all over. So from 20, February 29 to date, uh, that's the length of the, the project and still now there are some finishing touches that the MRC Holland founders are yet to do and we are expecting more other um, buildings from them. Uh, Amar Jiko is a contractor for this um, project, Jiko Construction. Uh, he was given this project. Uh, initially the first building uh, was for six months and he did it less than six months and then it was awarded at, at, at the second building. That's just right on, on, my, on my left hand, this other story building. So you can see from November, uh, uh, from uh, February 2018 to date, all this have been done within that uh, time frame. Currently, uh, we have uh, 2,758 for the lower basic only. And then we have, as I said, an upper base and senior school also uh, that is also uh, that also started in September, and the enrollment is 370 students. We have uh, 90 students for the for the senior school, two classes, and then uh, the rest uh, six classes for the upper base school. That's how the enrollment stands as of now. It's actually 10 years now. Uh, when I first took over the school, uh, the school was a thoroughfare. People come in, enter bicycles, motorcycles, vehicles, you know, will pass through the school. Uh, it was not fenced. The buildings were dilapidated. You can see the building that we are sitting next to was built in 1960. It's a 1960 building. Uh, 
plus what I building agency agency need plus our staff quarters. They were, uh, were uh, open on in, on the uh, 15th of September 96. You can see inscribed at the foot of the building there. So uh, they were all the rooks were leaking. In fact, they were pouring. When it rains, students would have to go to one side of the um, classroom. Uh, to, to allow the teachers to control with the lessons. So that's how we were operating. And uh, I have been, since then, I've been writing to my permanent sector through my um, uh, regional director, who is our current minister. She can attest to it, Madam uh, Cole. Every year, in and out, I will write through her, uh, to the permanent through her, and, and, and endless promises would be made. But. Uh, no, no, no positive result. So it was when these people came that uh, things changed. Uh, well, with, with Jiko Construction, Ama Jiko in particular, and he's fantastic. I, I, I like, I like him. I like the way he operates. You know, he has experienced supervisors. And he himself will come to the side. If he sees anything that is uh, going on wrong, he will correct it there and then fix, tell them to fi fix it. Even if it would involve uh, um, putting, pulling that area down. It wastes waste no time. Um, um, uh, his touches are always met. In fact, he sometimes does his um, um, uh, touches uh, uh, before, be, be, he, he completes his project before, before the actual uh, deadline. He has yeah, somebody cooking for them, feeding them on the side, and then he pays them as well. So the, the workers too are, are always happy and say good things about him. You see, this particular school, the intervention is just up. Because from ECD up to grade 12, uh, you see, initially students, you know, work trek from here to Mansajan for their senior school and of course middle school. With this intervention, that now burden has been relieved from parents. They don't need, not, not even need to buy bicycles for their children to to to, to, to trek to to Mansajan. That alone is a big thing to do. And then, added to when I told him about our, our water problem with now with electricity bills for for pumping our borehole. He said, on the turn of Banya, he will send his uh, people to come and put up a, a solar panel for us. That will relieve us from buying cars power. All, all, you know, every three days, thousand dollars, that's too expensive for the school to maintain. So that also is a big thing, it's a plus for us. And uh, I know he has also uh, promised us that uh, he makes sure that our offices are well furnished. That too uh, is going to help us with, with, with admin uh, work and uh, the tertiary institutions that are of late that have been built like Basse, uh, a chemical of, of Basse is, 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 is very good. It's in the right direction. It's going to help uh, our teachers. Uh, it's going to help schools have enough teachers because we know this side of the country, uh, the provinces is always difficult. Uh, if you post teachers here, they always negotiate to go elsewhere. If not government, they will even uh, prefer to resign and go to private. But having uh, college, uh, and a government college here in, in, in Basse would help train teachers here and they, they are posted to school. So that, that's going to be history for, for the Gambia. That's going to be history for URL. So that our own children go to uh, college here from, from ECD, up to, up to college, graduate, and then work in the region. Uh, you work, you are staying at home, you help your parents, and then support them. That's a good thing to do. And that's all what we, all of us are yearning for. In those days, when some of us started teaching, in 1980, I started teaching in Bakao, away from my family in Janyambro, when communication was very poor by, by then, you see. So now, if you have something on your desk, doorstep, Definitely, that's uh, that's a good thing uh, to do, and then I know parents will appreciate that very much. In fact, 
for us here, it is it's well appreciated. Uh, you will know this when uh, the, uh, the day we are going to officially open this school. Uh, you have our community elders to talk, and then they will show their appreciation. In fact, they have been showing that since the uh, buildings were handed over for, for classes to begin uh, last year, uh, when our sponsors came, they came to hand over the school uh, pending the official opening by His Excellency. Uh, because he said he is going to officially open this because this is where he went to, and then he wanted to show the whole world uh, at least what where he came from, what he definitely intends, and what he's going to do for, for us. And definitely, we are very proud of him. Well, I think it is this is not politics, I'm not politicking, but then give the devil its due. Uh, very few people would do that. Where you come from, you have seen the former uh, regime, where our former president, where he came from, can lie. You go to that school, it's, it's not as Kubakunda. I would have thought when I visited Kanila and I saw the school, I would have thought that was going to be his priority, but it was it was never was. Uh, for him, it's a different thing. And, people should appreciate him for that and many other things that he intends to do uh, for the region and, 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 and for the Gambia. We should put hands together. Uh, the way the generation is going, I think we should team up and then help so that our future generation uh, would also benefit a lot because if not, uh, things would, would, would go wrong and we, we would not know where it actually started. Is it? Some of us have eaten now. We are almost on, on the way of exit from, from the system. Uh, but then, what we have seen uh, for, for, for four decades now uh, is definitely is for us to uh, team up, put our hands together, and, and help develop this nation by infrastructure, that way, by also changing attitudes towards. Uh, development because no one is coming to do it for us. It's going to be our own. When philanthropists come, they add to what already we have. They complement our efforts. So, in any way that we, we, we can help make this game move forward, we should also all give a helping hand. The Gambia National Petroleum Corporation is the country's national oil company. For the past 17 years, GNPC has continued to deliver excellent services to all Gambians, from individuals to corporate clients. At GNPC, you are guaranteed the best quality fuel in the Gambia. Visit our stations and stop by our auto spare parts store where you can find petroleum and lubricant products, wiper blades, and many more. All these provided without delay. With 10 service stations located throughout the country and still counting, GNPC gives you the best customer service anywhere, anytime. Think fuel, think GNPC. Gambia, it is now time to take ownership of what we own. GNPC, Nyokomom, the Gambia, our homeland. The National Development Plan NDP TV series airing every Wednesday from 7 to 8 p.m. on GRTS. Airing every Wednesday from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. on QTV. For sponsorship, please call the marketing team on 383-3544 or 324-4444. 232-5299-736-2861. 996-8898